Hey, what's going on guys? Dots here and today I'm bringing you a guide on my top 10 things that you can do to increase your grinding efficiency in Black Desert Online. So in BDO, obviously grinding is going to be a massive part of the game. It's a very easy way to make money at a variety of spots in the game and is something that you will be most likely spending a lot of your time doing unless you dedicate all of your time to life skilling. And so making sure that you grind as effectively as possible is going to increase how much money that you can make so that you can increase the silver per hour to allow you to get your gear upgrades even faster so i'm going to go over today 10 different things that you are able to do to basically increase that grinding efficiency with my last four being more for like mid or higher tier zones but the first six are going to be something that basically everybody can do now kicking it off guys of course my number one tip is going to be to obviously learn your optimal rotation going to a grinding spot and making sure that you are grinding in the correct path is going to obviously increase the silver per hour that you gain if you grind in a really inoptimal way and don't you know hit certain mob packs and certain orders you can definitely be lowering the amount of monsters that you're killing therefore lowering your trash loot and therefore lowering the amount of silver that you gain so what i would quickly recommend doing before you you know spend a lot of time grinding a spot is you know kind of go there feel out the rotation a little bit for yourself see if you can kind of figure it out or just go ahead and look up a guide on youtube or the internet for the best way to grind for a certain spot sometimes i'm usually able to kind of figure it out myself if i just go to a location and it kind of like, you know, lays itself out to me. But other times it's kind of just easier to just look it up and figure out what's going to be the best. The second thing that I would recommend getting and doing for your efficient grinding is going to be getting a villa body buff. You're going to want to get the body enhancement buff from your villa scrolls. So this is really important because it's a really easy way to get a lot of extra stats. You can just simply use your tent and if you have the Book of the Old Moon and get your Villa buff, which is going to give you a lot of extra offense, defense and extra HP. Obviously, if you do not have the pay to win tent, then what you can simply do is go to the Villas over in Alta Nova and grab the buff there yourself. Or if you do not have the Book of the Old Moon, grabbing a uh, one of the passes from the Villa buff guys, you can basically allow, you know, for seven days, you can get the Villa buff from your tent. This is just a really cheap and easy way to essentially get free stats and you can get the buff for up to three hours so it does last for a really long time so it's just very easy to take advantage of this and obviously having more offense and more defense is going to make you grind a lot faster now the next thing i'm going to recommend doing is using a simple cron meal this is going to be your best in slot pve food it just gives you the best spread of offensive stats for pve and some experience uh increases so this is simply just going to be the food that you want to use when you're grinding it is better than your other options however i do personally carry some pvp food with me the exquisite cron meals in case someone does flag on me and i do really quickly want to switch to pvp food so that i can fight them you know at max power speaking of uh consumables we also have our next tip is going to be the beast drought the beast drought is going to be the best for i would say lower to mid game players just because not only does it give you some big offensive buffs when you use this but it gives you some big defensive buffs when you use this causing you to take less damage from monsters so this is going to be your uh, best in slot drought or pve for people that are not you're not like way hot, like a more geared than the spot that you're at if that's the situation what you're probably going to want to do at that point is replace the beast drought with the frenzy drought this is going to give you more offensive capability but it is going to come at the cost of defense so i would say if you are over geared for a specific location and you want to just max out that damage the frenzy drought will be your best bet but if you want to kind of go a safer route or if you're not over gearing to a spot, the beast drought is going to be your go to drought of choice. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is horse item stacking. Knowing how to do this is going to make your grinding way, way better. So you basically are going to kind of use a mechanic where you'll essentially juggle the over encumbered status effect between you and your horse. So once you notice at the top right that you are coming close to being over encumbered, you're going to walk over to your horse and put all the items on the horse. Then when this happens a second time, you're going to go over to your horse, take all the items off the horse to make it one big 
heavy stack on your character and then shove that giant stack onto the horse and then give the horse the over encumbered status. You're going to basically repeat that over and over again until you're done grinding. Then you're going to take the giant stack of items, put it on your character. So you'll basically be so over encumbered that you can't move, but you can hop on your horse and then just ride into the sunset and go sell all of your items. So that is going to be something you definitely want to know and use to make sure you are grinding as efficiently as possible. My sixth tip is going to be kind of a pay to win tip, but is going to be to have the tent from the pearl shop. This is one of the only like things from the pearl shop I do think is super, super, super worth buying. It just is going to give you a lot of quality of life by not only letting you get your villa buffs at your tent itself, but you're also going to be able to do a repair at your tent so that you do not have to constantly run back to towns. There is a free tent that you can get in the game, which I will leave a guide link to in the description below, but it is obviously not going to be as good as the tent that you can get from the pearl shop. So typically what I recommend to people is play BDO for a while, see if you like the game, and if you do, I do highly recommend investing some money and getting the tent. Now, my seventh tip, guys, is going to be to use a alchemy stone. I typically will only use my alk stone at mid to higher tier zone. So if I'm starting to, you know, take a little bit more time to kill the monsters, I'll start to use my alk stone. Obviously, if I'm just one shotting packs, I don't need to waste my alchemy stone. But if, you know, I'm, the mobs are starting to take a little bit more damage and they're a lot tougher, getting the extra stats from your alk stone is going to be really good. Uh, for most people, you want to obviously get Vel's Heart long term. That is going to be the goal. That is your best in slot Alk Stone. But if you do not have that, a Destruction Spirit Stone will be your best option until that point. These are very, very cheap and provide some good offensive stat spreads. My eighth tip and the thing I would use is also a Spirit Perfume Elixir if you are at a higher end zone. At lower zones, again, if you're one-shotting everything, I personally find this extremely unnecessary. But once you start to get to those higher end zones where it's taking a time and rotations and mobs have mechanics, using this is going to give you an extra edge by mainly giving you a lot of sustain. The amount of MP, uh, WP, whatever resource you have that you gain from this is just absolutely insane. And so this really just gives you a lot of resource stain so you can focus just on your rotations and focusing on the mob mechanics. Now, if you don't know, you're able to have one meal one drought and one perfume on your character at once so that's why we have these simple cron meal as our food our beast or frenzy drought as our drought and then our spirit perfume is going to be our perfume of choice so those are going to be our three primary consumable buffs speaking of buffs we have our ninth tip here and that's going to be the church buffs now this is really again going to be for me only if i'm at a higher end zone where i need every ounce of power possible you're going to want to go to a the guys in basically any churches in the major cities and you're going to want to exchange silver for the attack and defense buffs these will just again give you some more buffs that make you tankier and deal more damage which can be helpful at those higher tiered zones where every bit of stats is going to help to just increase your grind speed and then rounding out this guide at our 10th tip is going to be just another one of those kind of i want to just really get those higher end zones as optimized as possible you can get a buff from your house this does only last i believe an hour and that's going to be the ancient kamel statue which gives you a bunch of extra ap very helpful for grinding out these higher end spots and killing the mobs as fast as possible now for me the church buffs and the house buffs are like a super hyper optimized thing like if you're really trying to max out that silver per hour or if you're trying to reach for a spot that you can barely make and you kind of want to eke out a little bit more power these are some good things to do but i wanted to mention them in the guide today just so that you can be aware that they do exist now to use a house buff if you've never used one before you need to have a residence in a city of your choice you then need to buy this statue place it inside of the house and then you'll be able to within the house interact with it and gain the buff but guys with that being said that is going to be it for me today covering my top 10 things that i would use to increase your grinding efficiency in bdo i hope that you found this guide helpful and if you did i would really appreciate if you left a like on it if you do have any questions about anything i mentioned in this guide feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe for more bdo and mmorpg guides and content so i appreciate y'all stopping by today Thank you very, very much. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.